Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are diving back into the world of Super 7 Ultimates and the uh, Transformers Ultimate line Megatron. So wave two of the uh, Super 7 Ultimates. Um, of course, awesome packaging treatment here. Uh, really, really cool job on this. We get the nice little slip cover and then on the inside we've got animated G1 uh, uh, Megatron here, uh, looking evil, alternate heads, all sorts of uh, accessories in here. We've got all of his Energon weapons, um, alternate hands, uh, his, his very large cannon here. Of course, um, these are Transformers figures that do not transform. So if that is, uh, if that is a, a deal breaker for you, you may not want to watch the rest, but uh, these Transformers figures are really cool. Um, it's actually a few years ago, a couple years ago, uh, Optimus Prime here from this, from Wave 1 was one of my favorite action figures of the year, so I am really, really excited now to have finally gotten um, Megatron. Uh, you know, on the back we have the nice little homage to the original uh, stat card. And then, yeah, the, the Ultimates logo at the top. So, um, with that tour of the box done, let's get this guy inside the light box and let's take a closer look at the Super 7 Ultimates Megatron. <laughs> folks there you have it there is megatron out of the box you saw him with all of his different looks there um beefy beefy figure now in some ways this figure is almost the same as his counterpart here as as uh as optimus as you can see they look awesome together um they scale wonderfully they're you know roughly the same size uh, megatron is like a hair taller which feels accurate to me um another chunky figure kind of all the things you're used to seeing from uh, you know, from Super 7, you know, terms and joints, we've got single, single jointed knees and elbows. Um, this figure, w uh, does a couple of things, uh, that I think are a big improvement over the Optimus Prime. One being, um, the hands. So he gets two, uh, pistol holding hands with like the, the finger grip there, um, which is really nice because that means you can have him hold either his, the blaster that he comes with or the, um, the energy sword, energon sword in, um, in, in both hands, which is awesome. Um, whereas Optimus, he, he only has a right trigger hand, so he can only hold that gun and, in, in, uh, that blaster in, in that hand. Um, heads, you know, we get an additional swappable head, you get three, three heads there. Um, in terms of his energon weapons, what's really neat is you get two translucent plastic energon, um, maces, right? You get one that's, uh, chain link. So really cool plastic chain link, um, drags well behind him. You know, the, the chains hold together well. I, I don't see any issue there. And then you get one that's kind of extended. Um, again, a translucent plastic, um, but rather than this being an actual chain, it's just a single piece. So you can have this kind of um, frozen in motion. Really, really nice touch there. Um, you know, I, I thought that that was a, a great call from, from Super 7 to include. Um, the one thing I will say is it's a heavy piece and it's held on by just an teeny teeny bit of plastic there so um yeah just i would say tread lightly the one thing that's been kind of i don't want to say annoying but um you know difficult while posing this figure out is this arm cannon is super heavy it is a very very heavy piece and i don't know if it's just my sample or this one if it was supposed to be glued in or not um it falls off pretty easily basically anytime i change anything just from shaking this figure around enough um, it will it will come off. Um, what's nice is though the, the arm joints are strong enough to hold. So you know as you saw you know the, no trickery there. You know the arm joints are definitely strong enough to hold that uh, that cannon out, um, which is really really nice. You know it, it, and it you know it looks great. Um, it does just like to to fall off pretty easily um, when you're moving it around. So I you know again just 
you know, uh, when you're posing him, just be careful. I love that his chest opens up when we get some some reflector, uh, the reflector situation there. Really, really nice. Um, he does have, um, much like Optimus, yeah, he does have it too. Uh, he does have a little bit of an ab crunch there. As you can see, he does bend forward and, and nothing back. And then he twists at the waist as well. But, um, you know, these figures, much like the the Super 7, you know, the other Super 7 figures, they absolutely nail the the lines and the cuts. And, um, you know, these look like the, the cartoon characters walked off the screen. Um, really, really good job with, with Megatron. Excited to see what other what other bots um, we get. Uh, I know uh, Soundwave has been announced recently. I'm, I'm hoping with Soundwave being announced, maybe we'll get a Bumblebee as well. I think that would be, would be really neat. Um, but yeah. So we'll put a link in the description below where you can get your uh, Megatron. And when you're down there looking for that link, leave us a comment. Which Transformer uh, or other cartoon from our past would you like to see Super 7 tackle in their uh, in their Ultimates line? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss it when we post new videos. While you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on uh, Instagram, X, TikTok, all the places where we're constantly posting toy news, deals, availability, uh, anything and everything that would help out the, the community as well as a monthly giveaway. So definitely check that out. And then, uh, of course, on this side, the podcast. So uh, Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts. Simply search for Adventures in Collecting or hit that link in the description below, which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things uh, that I just mentioned. And I guess, uh, as always, till all are one. Until next time.